Before the video starts, I just want to show that the strategy works because I'm filming this the day after I filmed the original video. And we can see that we have sold the piece that we bought. And we sold it for $56. And if you come and look at what we spent on MetaMask, you will see that we bought this piece here called Coming Soon for $10. So we bought it for $10 and we basically sold it the next day for $56. So times five, uh, not a bad quick investment return. Anyway, just wanted to say that before we start the video that this crazy little strategy actually actually works. Anyway, see you in the main video. Although it's also very important that I just have a quick disclaimer that this is not financial advice. There are a whole bunch of risks involved in the strategy, such as illiquidity, um, high transaction fees, and operational risk, as well as the volatility of the market. So. Just a very quick disclaimer before watching the rest of this video, understand that you could lose all of your money uh, following these strategies. Um, but yeah, there may be something to, to think about and see it from an educational point of view. Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and in this video I want to talk to you about investing in crypto art. So the first thing you want to do is come to a website called superrare.co and that's actually where we are right now. And Super Rare, what I like about it is they're an online gallery that takes their art seriously. In order to be an exhibitor on their site, you have to go through quite a rigorous screening process, which means that a lot of the artwork has already been vetted and we really are dealing with real artists and not some people making some weird, crazy memes. Um, so yeah, when you come to the website, you'll see this is the home page. Um, people are making bids and doing all these kind of stuff, and they explain how how everything works and who the top artists are. And hopefully one day I will be one of the top artists. Um, but yeah, essentially you'll come here to to the market. I've already just opened up this tab because sometimes it can take a long time for for it to load. And you can see this is um, the artwork that is currently on display. So you have the artist, the owner, and then sometimes they can list. So they, this person is saying that they want $5,000 for their piece, or people can come and make a bid. So we can see this person has made a bid of $1,875 for some golden flamingos. So yeah, on the main page, you will see a whole bunch of pieces. And I mean, here we go, we can see here's one of my pieces and Matrix, who's one of the top collectors, has already put in a bid. Although that's quite a low bid. It's, I'm not going to be accepting that. I know it's crazy. $113 for crypto artwork. People might be saying, hey, why don't you just take it, take it? And I'm like, no, I think I can get a, get a higher price. My last one sold for around $500. And that's kind of what I'm looking at for, for this piece, if not, if not even more. So one way you can invest is to come onto this homepage and look at these pieces, but it's very, very expensive. So what I recommend that you do, if you want to start investing, especially at the entry level, is you actually want to come off of Super Rare and to another website called rarible.com. Now, rarible.com, we're still going to be trading the Super Rare asset. So if you had to go, like I think, to the rest of Super, uh, of what's this website called, rarible.com, um, there's weird stuff. There really is a lot of weird stuff out there. I highly recommend you don't don't worry about this stuff. Rather come to the super rare um, tokens or the super rare artwork that is being sold on super rare. People can also list it on Rarible. And what you can see is the following pieces. And once again, I might must point out that this one, this one, and this one over here. So pandemonium composition and summer are all of mine. Now, Pandemonium, I did sell for $100, um, or for 0 0.285 ETH, and you can see that somebody else has has now relisted a chair. So the owner is Matrix again. So I did sell him one at a, at a low price, and he's gonna try buy all of mine for a low price. But these other ones, um, I've just listed. So what I recommend doing is going through and looking at the pieces here. Now, of course, I'm going to be buying some art pieces, so. I'm gonna go in straight and, and buy the ones that I think are, are worthwhile. So what I'm gonna do is, I have already found them, so I just need to try and find the ones that, that I'm gonna buy. So I'm gonna be buying some, some art pieces in this video, which, like I say, it, it seems crazy spending quite a lot of money for virtual pieces, but I have written an article in the Actuarial Magazine on 
the reasoning. I wouldn't necessarily say the rationale, more the reasoning on why. I mean, sorry, that butterfly looks amazing, um, but for 27 ETH, I don't have I don't have 27 ETH. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Thanos also looks pretty cool. So you can come in, you can find some cool, cool pieces. But yeah, as I was saying, I've written a whole article in the Actuarial magazine explaining why people might want to invest. Or the, the fact that you're watching this video, how to invest in crypto art, probably means that you've already got past that, that barrier. If you haven't, then you want to go and, um, yeah, like I said, you want to maybe read that first and then come here. But anyway, so this is, this is the one piece that I want to buy. It is a green square. So I want to buy this green square. Now, why do I want to buy this green square? Well, first off, you want to come and click on the creator. When it comes to crypto art, the artist is very, very important. So when you come and you read this person, um, they're a proper artist. They've written textbooks on color. Um, they've created a whole bunch of other uh, tokens. You can see a lot of them are not for sale because they've already been sold. So what I'm gonna be doing is is buying, I think this is this is like the only one he has. Look, he's got this one for 0 0.25, which is also not too bad. Um, that one's at 0 0.4. I'm gonna go for this one for 0 0.2. I think it's the cheapest. So this is what I recommend, is you find the cheapest artwork of, of someone. So what we're gonna do here is click on this one here, and we're gonna buy it for $76. So what you do, you simply click proceed to payment. Um, if you have a MetaMask account, you can have this up. Um, there's a little bit of a gas fee and commission, so that's why it's coming up to, to $80. So we're gonna click confirm, and we are purchasing a green block for, um, yeah, we, we just purchased a green block for, <laughs> for 0 0.2 ETH, which process is pretty going on. Um, and there's one or two others that I actually wanted to I wanted to get um, this one actually isn't too bad so what I've got over here is yeah I want to get the Sigmund Freud one and one of the also the reasons why sorry why I just bought that Jeff guy is if we come up and we search we can actually find it here so if we go abstract what did he call it abstract token 90 I think that's what its name was um, so you can see it does pop up here that it is it's been vetted you can come you can give it a little bit of love um, and it's weird it's, it's kind of like 16 days ago it was transferred to to anonymous um, it was only actually created 21 days ago so it's it's fairly fairly recent but what I like about it is if we were to go say view all the works of this Jeff Davis um, He's got these tokens here, and you can see this one's listed for 1.5, this one's listed for 10. Um, this is the one that we are purchasing, so we're soon gonna take control of this one. And then we can see, we can list it up and, and try get get a higher amount, amount for it. You can see some people have come in with low bids of 0 0.1, and he hasn't really accepted it. So if we come and look at the, the orange one, um, I mean, yeah, Jeff accepted a bit of 0 0.25 from, from Kobe. I think Kobe's one of the big big artists, I think. Or is it Cody? No, no, sorry, it's Cody who's who's very big uh, with creating some of the art pieces. So, yeah, this is how you can kind of do it is you can come in um, and then that fun goth guy, because if we type in here, Sigmund Freud. So let's go Sigmund Freud and we should see this one over here. And what I like about it is, yeah, you know, someone's put in a very cheeky, cheeky little bit. A quick interruption, I actually figured this out a little bit afterwards, but the person who placed this bid on Sigmund Freud, don't know how do you pronounce his, his name, or well, let's call him William. Um, what was cool is I recognize it because he's from Italy and he purchased this cat and circles which was a piece that was created by me. Um, you can see he bought it 19 days ago for actually a good price, 0 0.436. Like I say, I want to accept higher prices now. So if he had to resell that, he could get a maybe a higher price. But that was my one little cat that this person had purchased. Anyway, um, we are getting distracted. So hold on, let's go. Let's go back to Sigmund Freud. Yeah, someone's put in a very cheeky, cheeky little bid. But I have seen his 
his alien dollars tend to do tend to do quite well or he tends to to sell them for a little bit more although he accepted only for 0 0.3 so i don't know maybe should i should i buy the sigmund freud where is the sigmund freud this one is a bit weird yeah let's come here with the sigmund freud uh, well there's sigmund freud there is uh, matthew marshall's and i think there's even like a, a lady gaga one as as well so here this is also one of the things that you can look at is let's go search for this see what what this artist is doing so essentially what you want to do is you can find better deals on um here it is over here you can find slightly better deals on the other markets and then come and then sell them here on super rare and you might be able to get a little bit more of a of a premium so yeah we can view all the all the work that he's done and i mean here we can see already that he's got a current bid by this person for 0 0.4 on one of his other pieces so that's good to see current bid of 0 0.25 so that's also it's a good thing to to see that which means that if we do buy that other piece for 0 0.11 we can maybe sell it at 0 0.25 and make a little bit of of a profit um, although this is the thing about art not guaranteed that we're going to buy it and be able to sell it at this higher price um, but you know what let's let's live a little let's i mean this is the thing this is crypto art you're in the beginning you want to tell people that you've that you got involved in it and that you gave it a gave it a good go so we're going to do this as well we are going to come and i think yeah i think let's buy let's buy one of these things and i'll leave you guys you guys can buy sigmund freud if you want or maybe I'll buy Sigmund Freud. I don't know. I'm still making up my making up my mind on whether we're gonna do this or not. We just have to find this piece. Where is it? Oh, here it is over here. So yeah, we're gonna buy this one now here for forty two dollars. Purchasing, and then we click confirm. Boom, and then we've got it. So this is like a very much if you want to have an entry level into crypto art is, and you want to just dip your fingers in. I suggest coming up to to rareable purchasing um these ones and then we'll see like when we come back to say my profile um we'll see yeah so the my collection over here i've now got the green dot okay so i've now got the green dot which we purchased for 0 0.2 um we can now set the price at say 0 0.5 and see if we get any any takers at that so once again we'll come up to metamask we just have to put in the new little price and now we've listed that um i mean i listed yeah this piece over here at a quite a nice i got this one for like very 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 low so another thing that you can do is come to the market go lowest price and you should see that piece that i bought because um, I got it for you, very very low price. I've just relisted it to see if I can get get this higher one. Um, and then, so yeah, what you'll want to do is you'll come want to see, you know, what are the other pieces kind of going for. So if that other piece has come through, we can list that at zero point two. Yeah, it's already come in. And so we paid like zero point one for it, and we can set the price. Let's put this at zero point two. Five, put it at 2590 dollars. There we go. Once again, make sure you have enough ether to do the gas and the transactions. Um, and then yeah, we will see if uh, if these actually sell. So if these actually sell. So now we're now at the top of the page. You can see I've listed this for 0 0.515, and we can now see if anybody is gonna come in and and purchase one of our pieces um, also I mean this is probably I would recommend buying one of my pieces um, I don't think I've got that many available I mean out of the ones out of my 22 artworks if we look at the ones that have sold um, it's 19 so I only have three that are still available um, and that is this one which hopefully we're gonna get a higher bid this one over here, which you can see I'm hoping to get $338. There currently is a bit of 0 0.2. And then there's this one. This one's not getting any love. No one, no one has put a bid on, 
on summer. So maybe come in, put a bid on summer, and I might let it go for, for a good price. Otherwise, all of these other ones um, I've sold, you can see people now relisting at, at higher amounts. Um, and yeah, there's the, the panda that we saw earlier. And this one's quite cool because it's, it's had a new owner. So every time they resell it, I do get a little bit of, of the royalties. So what we can see with my pieces is I try sell or want to sell at like around one ETH and then people can resell it at two ETH and then they can kind of get a little bit of double their, double their money, but we will see how, how that goes. So yeah, if we had to go back to the market, um, what we can see is we should have, yeah, both of my pieces are now up here and hopefully hopefully they get, get sold. This is the thing about crypto art is you got to be patient. You could maybe expect seven days before your piece gets purchased or, or not. So do expect a little bit, um, you know, it's not like crypto trading where you're buying and selling and the price is constantly fluctuating. There is a little bit of a delay in this. Um, anyway, what you can also do is you can come and look for, you know, by, by tag. So you can maybe purchase, maybe you're into abstract art or you're into animation and go through like a certain hashtag and then build up a collection like that. That's one way to do it. Um, and you can see there's, there's various collections out there that you can, that you can go and get. And that's quite cool because the art piece that we just bought is this person over here. So they're getting eyeballs, they're getting um, some exposure. So hopefully you can sell that. Oh look, there's there's my one that I sold. That one looks very, very cool. So it's it's quite a fun website to just come on and like just look and see things. So you can go and search by hashtag. Sorry, my computer takes forever to wow, that is scary. That is scary. This is stunning. I really like these pieces. Um so you can come, I think they yeah, oh, that's, that's a little bit that's a little bit out of my <laughs> out of my price range, five five ETH. Um, but what I also wanted to show you is, I mean, you can also start searching for like the best, um, I think it's called Hacker Toad. Did I spell that correctly? No, I have spelled him wrong. Coldy, I'm probably also going to spell that wrong. Oh no, yeah. So Coldy is is one of the, the top artists on the game. So you can see he's got 102 creations. Um, if you can get your hands on one of his pieces, so we're going to try to see if we can actually find this lowest price. So if you can purchase one of these, now look, this is lowest price is you're looking at five ETH to get in the game over here. So this is this is ridiculous. So it's very, very scary to try and, and get one that low. But I mean, if we had to go highest price, um, he has sold some for, yeah, you can see. There, <laughs> I think this one over here that he did of Vitalik, um, I mean, it was it was purchased for, yeah, I think purchased for, oh no, where, when did he sell it? So look, he accepted a bid of 1.4. Okay, so a year ago, he sold for $256. And then since then, there have been bids of like 4.75. So that's like a multiply by four um, almost in, in just a year. And look, the person has gone for this ridiculously outrageous price. Um, but yeah, if you want to make, make good money, I mean, another great artist to, to check out that's on the rise is also South African, um, Tzado over here. And yeah, you can actually check out here. So yeah, he's in Johannesburg. I'm in Cape Town. Also got some amazing artwork. He is a little bit more affordable and he is one of the, the top artists in in the game. So you might be able to, I don't know, let's see what, what some of the lowest prices are. So this is maybe a little bit more acceptable. You know, you can try come in and buy one of his at just two, um, two ether. Whereas you can see he's listing his new pieces for around eight. So again, there is room for, for growth. Um, so if you do want to, if you've got a little bit more ETH and you want to start playing, Tato is a great, great one to, to check out. Um, I'm going to just show you two other artists that are like kind of like some of the, the more famous guys on this thing. Where is Puck? Puck over here. He, he's probably one of the biggest artists. And 
Some people like his style, some people don't like his style. But you can check out of the 64 artworks, how many has he sold? He sold 61. That is crazy. So he's got a very, very high sell rate. So let's look at what the lowest prices of his pieces are going for. And these are the lowest pieces. And you can see it is incredibly difficult to buy um, one of his. And this is the thing. People are like, oh, the more artwork out there, the scarcity kind of destroys it. That's not necessarily the case. The more art pieces kind of allows for more distribution and more people um, kind of becoming aware of it. But you can see if this is the lowest prices for Puck, they are kind of, let's see with um, has an open bid just to see what people are, are bidding. Okay, so people have come in with some some low bids that he's not entertaining. But yeah, I mean, this is this is a bid of $3,000 and he hasn't accepted uh, this one. So 11 hours ago, there was this bid of eight. That is a lot. And um, you can see it was just created a day ago and people are trying to get in this because of course, you can get it for eight ether and then sell it for 24 ether. Um, Puck knows that he can get a much higher price on his piece. Then we've got, I think, it's Hakato. Why can't I spell it properly? Hakateo. Did I get it? I think I got, yes, I got it right. I got it right. Fantastic, fantastic. Also, if you can buy one of these pieces, then wow it, it there really is some big big opportunity here so let's view all of his artwork um let's see has open bids and we can see so there's a current bid of three and 2.2 so only there's only bids on two of his pieces but check he's got like a, a buy now price of 400 for, sorry 46 almost forty-seven thousand dollars is what he wants so someone coming in with the cheeky bid of 2.2 so yeah that is that is very <laughs> so let's see um of all of his pieces how many has he has he created he's created 117 let's see how many he has sold hakateo he sold 117 no way so every single piece that he's created he has he has sold um that is yo that is crazy has a list price let's see what's got the lowest list price so yeah if you want to get in if you want to get into the game on hacker it's five thousand six hundred dollars so absolutely crazy um this is definitely where i want to get myself to so i definitely want to start building um my catalog up I'm still only at 22 so I'm about you know Hakatoa those other guys there are 100 creations you are limited you can only release so many uh, per week I think it's four per week so it's still gonna take me quite a while to get to to that level but yeah hopefully I'll be at a state where we can sell my pieces so yeah this is the, the la latest one that I've just sold um, you can see nine hours ago for 506 dollars and it was quite cool because there was quite a bit of a, a bidding war on it we can see matrix came in again with that 0 0.3 which is quite quite low and then we had a nice progression with uh, within the day and then what i did is i set a, a, a maximum or a ceiling of 1.4 so after it takes the three percent commission we then got that amount I probably could have sold this piece for more I mean this is this is the crazy thing about this this game um, I might have been able to get get a lot more but what I'm hoping is that uh, Mumi or the person who who has purchased this piece is look they've only got two two in their collection but hopefully they'll be able to sell my piece at a later date for a lot more and, and make a bit of profit so yeah that essentially is a very quick guide to to super rare so like i say if you want to get into the game at the bottom level um i highly recommend coming to this website called rareable and looking for pieces you want it to be below 0 0.2 so zero like that piece over there maybe the sigmund freud actually you know what you know what should we should we just buy it let's let's just live a little hey so proceed to payment 
we're gonna buy um, Sigmund Freud, but like I say, the rest of you guys, you can you can maybe buy the Matthew Marshall's one. Where was that one? You guys, I'll I'll leave that one for you guys to buy. It's zero point one five. It's it's a nice low low price. Um, if you want to play at the top end, like I said, there's uh, artists like Puck, Hakatoa, Tato. Um, those are some and Coldy that you want to check out. If you're more in the mid price uh, mid price range, um, so like let's say you don't want to play around like what I'm doing in the very very low end, and you don't have enough ether for for the top end, then I'm unashamedly gonna push myself and say I'm a good mid price artist for someone. Um, this is a piece that I think yeah again I've got a bit of zero point two, probably not gonna accept it uh, because. That's kind of the price I want to get. I think this will sell for a lot more in the future. So this is quite a nice, I guess, if you're in the mid price uh, range, is to get get one over here. And you can come, you can read the little story. You can see where I was thinking um, with guys like Mondrian and Theo van Donsberg and kind of their styles. But where they were going for primary colors and order, I was kind of going in a little bit of the opposite direction. And I really, really like this piece. So. Hopefully it will get a get a higher bid, um, but this is nice good mid range one. Like I say, summer's not getting any love. Um, this one over here, I'm hoping for for a much higher. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so let me maybe sum up and saying thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions on how to invest in crypto art or other little tips, um, let me know in the comment section below. We can chat about it. We can talk about it, and yeah. Um, as always, oh, I'll also put a link in the description to my article that I wrote in Actuarial Magazine. Just if you were like, oh, this is so weird that people are buying art on the internet. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Cheers.